All right, it is 4.10 a.m., September 25th, and I was just coming to the charts looking for opportunities, and, you know, confirmation number one is we want our time frames aligned. Confirmation number two is we want a recent macro trend arrow. Confirmation number three is we want four arrows or more opposing the trend, which we have here. And look at that. Entry opportunity there. Took, it took off. Entry opportunity here. And you have that blast off there. Let's, I mean, I can just scroll through these forever this morning. Macro trend arrow. Entry opportunity. Blast off. Entry opportunity. Blast off. I'll just keep scrolling through a few, but... Goodness, looks like I came to the chart just a little bit too late this morning. Entry opportunity, blast off. Now, some of these will pull back and give us another opportunity, but, I mean, it just goes to show the power of impulse. I mean, yes, I missed these opportunities this morning. There will be more, but, dang, I mean, it's just, this works. All right, just so you guys can see, uh, we are back at 8.03 a.m. on September 25th. I told you that there would be more opportunities, right? So we're on the NZD JPY. I showed you that earlier. You can see this is the current blast up at another opportunity after um, my video earlier. But let's let's show you a little example. So you might say, you know, some those skeptics out there might say, well, there were entries before that that you could have gotten in and that kind of thing. Even if you had gotten in on the very first entry right here. All right. So after I shot my video, this was the first entry opportunity right in here. Okay, That would have happened at. 4.52. I shot my videos right around 4 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> I think it was like 4.07 or something. And this would have been your first opportunity, right? This is your first arrow back in the direction of the trend. Even if you'd gotten in there, based off of the parameters of the strategy, you would not have lost that trade and you would have caught that move, all right? Now, if you had entered, of course, and then, but we would not have entered there, all right? And I've showed you this tip before and I'm going to show you again. Let's put a line right where that arrow happened. All right, right. Oh, if I can get it on there, that's close enough. All right, so then we're going to drop up to the five minute. So let me jump up to the five minute. All right, let's look over that line is. All right. You can see we are not touching the inside of this volatility band right here. So let's see where that happens and let's drop another line. All right, let's see that happens right here. All right, so now let's go back down to the one minute. Let's see what that looks like. All right, look where that is compared to where this is, okay? So we're over here now. Now we would look for our first arrow back in the direction of the trend, which is here. And you can see we would have had, we would have entered here, right there on the close of that candle at the top. You would have had a little bit of drawdown, not based off the parameters of the strategy, that, not, that would have not hit your invalidation line. And then off to the races, all right? So just the beauty of this strategy, and you can see it all timestamped playing out in front of you. And this is a, a, re a regular day, right? You're going to see opportunities that you miss. You're going to be patient, and you're going to wait for the next opportunity. And using these little tips to help you get these higher quality entries is going to help you out massively.